Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. We're currently over here on Aberration, and today we're gonna start getting some of the artifacts that we need for the better Rockwell fight. So the one we're going for is kind of the hardest one, at least the hardest one for me. It's way down in the red zone, and oh, dude, I tell you what, I always get lost going down there, and then actually in the cave getting lost. So we'll see how it works out. It's the artifact of the Stalker. If it goes bad, <laughs> which it might, and we end up losing a lot of, a lot of teams. We can also get these artifacts over on Crystal Isles. So we'll give it one good try here, and then if anything, we will go over there to get them. It's just a lot easier sometimes to get them off of other maps. However, let me show you what we have. So I have the Rock Drake. I have the Megalosaurus. We got all of our normal gear down here. I brought a crossbow that I had and some grapples. We've got our flak armor set, which I need to leave here. We've got some zip lines. We've got two of our canteens, one hot, one cold. I've got a Ravager. I went ahead and bred one of those and brought it over. Very low stats. We've got a second Glowtail because if you remember last time we were here, we had some issues and I went through, I think, three of them. <laughs> Let's try not to have that happen this time. We've got a scuba set. That's for the next artifact that we're going for. And I brought some taming gear. So we got our rifle. We'll oh, need that. And then I've got, excuse me. I've got our kibble and shocking trank darts, a little bit of medical brew and some food. So... A lot of people have been leaving me comments, which has me worried that once you take the Aberrant Megalosaurus off of Aberration, they get bugged out and kind of turn into the normal variant, and they'll be sleeping during the day. However, it is daytime. It's like almost one in the afternoon, and he's still awake. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it works out. If we come back and he's sleeping or something like that, then we're going to have to tame us two new ones and leave it over here and do breeding. So I don't know. He's kind of our test subject. So we'll leave him here and see what happens. We're going down on the Rock Drake today, and I think we kind of, we're kind of set. We've got our one hazmat suit. So the whole thing about upgrading this was because I didn't want to carry multiples with me. I didn't think about bringing a second set to leave here for my rescue missions. We can't have any rescue missions. I'm just saying, <laughs> we can't have any. So let's head out today. Where we're going is roughly 8147, and I kind of know how to get there. I mean, in the general area from our other base, from the one that's in the blue zone. So that's where we're going to head to first. We're going to head over that way, jump down, kind of glide through, and see if we can find the cave entrance. It's a little cave. Once you get in, there's a, another cave that's kind of hidden in the ceiling, and that's where we have to get the artifact from. That's the problem I usually have, is finding that second cave once we get in there. As long as we can get over here without any problems, we should be all right. So... I've been having the problems, or the bugs if you'll call it, where whenever I upload a creature into the the transmitter that's in a soul trap, they get a whole bunch of levels. It's kind of a bug. The glow tails didn't get any coming over here. The rock drake got like, I think 30 or so, and then the megalosaurus got like 60 or 70. So it's, I don't know, I don't know what's up with that, or what kind of dictates whenever something gets extra levels from that bug. It's kind of weird. It would have been nice to get some in the Ravager, which got zero, because we need him for the next video for going down and getting those other ones. But this is kind of where we can go down at, is right over here. And all we have to do is loop around and out to the left down here. It's kind of a kind of the one of the ways you can walk down into the red zone and just follow that back corner. We should be able to get over there. Oh, I'm a little bit too low for the waterfall. We got to keep our eye out for some basilisk. We need four of the basilisk. Oh, buddy, come on. Not today. We're stuck in the water. We're floating up the water. Okay. We need four of the basilisk scales, and then we're going to need to kill one or two reapers, the queens. We need some of the pheromone glands. And that should be it mixed in with the other normal little stuff. So we should be all right. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm kind of worried about doing the reapers. But we should see quite a few of those down here today. If we get the artifact, and there's a couple around, we might kill one that's low level. I think it's just two of the pheromone glands, so it shouldn't be too bad. And not only do we have the normal aberrant creatures, don't forget, man, we got the... <laughs> we got the Arcaditions mod. So we're gonna have, like, the little surfing sand sharks down here, too, to deal with. And I'm hoping... I'm just really hoping it's not gonna be too bad. Oh, we are out of stamina already. Oh, dude. That's the one problem with him, and there's one of the sand sharks there, is I didn't get to put many points into his stamina. 
Whenever I got a little bit of points on him, I put it all into health and some of the damage. That way he kind of have a little bit better on the survivability. Totally forgot about stamina. So what we're going to do is head in down here. And we're taking a little bit of damage. There's that one little kind of spore wall that you hit. And I think... I think we almost got hit by Perlovia. I think all we got to do is glide over this way, and it should be up around here. I'll check the map. Let's get over here, and I'll check the map real quick. If we can make it. It's going to be a good glide if we make it. Okay. Hopefully we weren't seen. Oh, we're close. We are very close. So it's going to be right down over that way. So we need to go up one more level. Ooh, get out of first person view. I'm going to get sick. Go up one more level and we should be there. Is it this level? That level? This level, I think. No reapers, please. No reapers. Yep, back over this way. So there's a reaper there. Of course, I don't want to mess with it yet. I want to go ahead and get the artifact first. I do have it set up, too, to where we can use a teleporter to get out of here. If we get into a bad spot after we get the artifact. And here's a, here's the entrance right here. I'll show you on the map in case you don't know. That's where we're at. Roughly 8147. Oh, dude. It's alright, you can't climb. I hope you can't climb. See what level it is. Hopefully it'll still be waiting for us whenever we come back, because that's kind of a good place to take one out. Oh, there he is. It jumped off. Well, I'll tell you what, it's fine. <laughs> At least it's not around here where we are. I'm hoping the actual artifact has spawned in too. Sometimes it doesn't and you gotta wait for a while. So once we get in here, we kind of need to stay somewhat to the right. And not in the Element River. Ah, oh, dude, it makes me nervous. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff over there! Buddy, your, your feathers, man. I can't really see. Can't really see. Anyways, let's try to go up. That was a very, very poor choice. Oh man, I don't want to hit the centipedes. I don't want the centipedes to tear up our armor. And you know what? I need to turn off resource harvesting. Are we good? You guys sleeping? Stay there. You'll be alright. Here we go. I don't want him to get too weighed down. Oh, dude. I should have played with the... <laughs> I should have played with the rock drake a little bit more before coming in here. I haven't been on one in so long, you know? So what we're looking for is the three marks in the ceiling. They're kind of like that. Kind of like those those three white stripes. They're in like a little triangle, and that's where we go up at. I think we got to go further in, though, to get to it. And then the problem is, is remembering how to get back out, too. That's where the... That's where the uh, teleporter might come into play. I think it's right there. Okay, well, let's try to jump across. There we go. There we go. I tell you what, if that is it... Oh, it is it! I have never found it this easy. Oh, okay, okay. Don't know why we jumped. Oh, dude, please do not hit my armor. It is fragile. Alright, let's turn this off for a second. Just take out the Seekers. Hopefully none of the Nameless come. Yep, they already did. Please don't hook out. All right, let's put this into stamina. I'll take those, and that's good. That'll kind of heal us up. I think it's like 100 for each one for the Rock Drake. I don't want any extra weight slowing us down. All right, so what we need to do is not wake those guys up. How's it going, buddies? So let's jump across there and then just climb up. And that should... Oh, boy, I tell you what. Jump, man, jump! Okay. A little climbing action here. Yep, I hate that. I always get stuck on it. Cool, so this is a little entrance. There's multiple ways to get up here. This is just the way that I know of. 
Let's take out this stuff, and then right up this little corridor should be the artifact, if it's there. If not, we're gonna come back down here and wait a few minutes and then try to get it to, uh, to spawn in. Oh, it is. Oh, dude, that is so nice. So there's the artifact. Let's take out these. Yep, I see it back there. Centipedes first, please. It doesn't push you around so bad. It makes me nervous when we're around the Element River. So the last thing I want to do is take a bath. <laughs> That's how we lose all of our glow tails. Are we good? We all right? Look at that feather light, man. Level 80, not too bad. Blue eyes, I like it. So, artifact of the stalker. So let's do this. We're gonna try to go out the normal way, the way we came in. I wanna try to get the reaper glands while we're down here. As soon as we get those two reaper pheromone glands, we don't have to worry about them again for a while. And might as well do it now and have the hard part of this whole ordeal over with. Which way was out? Which way did we come in? Was it that way? I think so. I think. We need to go up there? I think we need to go up here. I think. Nope. Over this way. Alright. Go where you want, man. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it's left. Oh, uh, don't push me off. Don't push me off. Boy, I tell you what. Okay. Is it this way? No, we gotta go up, right? I know, I know, I'm walking in circles around everybody. I don't remember seeing that waterfall as a thing. That's a dead end. So is this. Is this the... It's not the way out. Alright. Don't mind me, guys. Is that a way out? That's not, that's just a blue... Okay. Yep. I'm like a fly to the light, man. <laughs> I see the light and I go to it. That's how you get in usually, right? Is you follow kind of like the bluish white light. Oh, dude. I'll tell you what, that jumping that he does automatically. Alright, we're going down, which is not a good thing. I tell you what, we're about to just find a safe place and use a teleporter. <laughs> find a safe place down here. Yeah, right. Because I need to pick the rock drake up. So it's got to be relatively safe. Oh, wait. Is this it? This looks like it might be it. I don't know where we're at because we are upside down. <gasps> Get out of the element! I tell you what. Is this the exit? It is. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Nobody died. <laughs> we got the artifact. Ah, oh, dude, we need to get rid of all those seekers if they follow us. Get our stamina back. And we'll see about taking out that reaper that we saw. Are we good? Let's rest for a second. How's your health, buddy? We got some climbing picks. Get rid of all this junk. It didn't heal him up all the way, but I think we'll be we'll be okay, I think. I say that now. Alright, so next order of business. Seems how everything is going somewhat smooth. And I had to say something. What level are you? There's that Reaper. Oh, it just fell again. Something else about the Rock Drake. I don't like. Whenever you get out your spyglass, it like spins around sometimes. I don't know what's up with that. It's highly disorienting. Junior, what level are you? I don't know if I want to play. <laughs> it all depends on how high of a level it is. 36. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was another one. It's a Spino. That's not too bad. We'll be alright. We should get a couple pheromone glands. We're kind of stuck. Has me worried. But at least it can't throw us around. I don't want to get over there by the edge because I think that goes down to the Element River. And at least we're not taming it, so we don't have to worry about stopping 
whenever we get its health down low. Oh, dude, look at that blue sand shark up there. Well, something else people left me comments about is whenever we go to team those again, go ahead and just drag them out of the red zone. Drag them up into the blue zone. It'll be a little bit safer, a little bit easier. So I think we might try that too. I didn't know if they had to be down in the red zone, but I think that's just where they spawn at, right? There's definitely a lot less stuff, and then we don't have to worry about the Reapers or the radiation. I mean, that is that is as long as we don't drag a Reaper out with us. Now, would you die already, please? Holy crap, dude. Our stamina's getting fairly low. Yep, okay, so she's getting low. She's already making the noises. All right, let's get our stamina back. That way, if we got to run, we'll be able to. Just saying, always leave yourself a way out. And then she's going to come on with the spines, so yeah. That's a bad time for the Seekers to come around. Just saying. You got a Reaper and a Rock Drake going at it. Earthquake. Perfect time for an Earthquake. She's not even getting bloody. Maybe she's not almost there. Or is she? Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. It's just not red. So it should still pick it up, even though I have resource harvesting off, I think. Might have to check the bag. And they'll have to get back and throw it in the refrigerator. I think they have a spoil timer, right? Nice, man. Nice. All right, we got... We got four. Oh, and there is no spoil timer. Nice, man. Nice. Well, while we're down here, I was going to teleport back, but... We might as well go ahead and just... It's a horrible time to do that. Might as well walk back and see if we can find us a basilisk. Or four. I mean, that's really what we need is four of them. At least, because they don't always drop these scales. Kind of sucks. It should be a guaranteed drop. I should grab some red crystals. We'll save that for later. I don't want to... I don't want to start doing that and then end up getting killed because I was playing with... Red crystals. And there's Perlovia! I do need to stop by one of the recharge stations. The, uh... I forget what they're called. Those things. I need to let our light pet kind of recharge. Man, we've had him on this whole time. He's still really low level, so I'm surprised his battery kind of held out. All right, let me let this guy charge up. We're going to rest for a second, and then we'll continue making our way out. I need to kind of look at the map anyways and figure out where we're at. It should be just sticking to the left over here. And it should take us out kind of where we came in at. And if anything, we can find a Basilisk up in the blue zone. Alright, so we are coasting right into the blue zone now. I did not find any of the Basilisk. I did find some Reapers! <laughs> I had one drop right on top of me as I was getting ready to leave the little charge station there. But it's a little bit safer up here anyways. All we got to deal with is a Nameless. Don't have to worry about the radiation or anything. And there should be some Basilisk down here. I always have problems in this area with them. So we'll take a little peek as we go back and try not to get hit by the crabs, preferably. Yep, Megalosaurus, okay. We might have to just get on our Megalosaurus and do a run down here for Basilisk parts here eventually. Okay, let's go up this way. That's so slow turning around sometimes, man. Yeah, it's not going to be anything. Ah, oh, dude, that kind of sucks. It's alright, we're gonna jump. Wait, where are we at? Over this way? I'm getting twisted around. I really need to mark base on my map. Yep, straight ahead. Well, this might be the very first time I've been in the blue zone and not seen a snake. Well, I mean, I've seen snakes, it's just the wrong flavor. We need the basilisk kind, not the, uh... <laughs> Not the other ones, not the Titan Boas. But down in there is where our next artifact is. So that's what we'll be doing probably in the next video. And then we might just have to mix in getting the snake uh, skins whenever we go to do the Glowtail Cave artifact. Kind of do that all at once. Try to get around this crab. I think base is up here on the left. And then that'll be kind of it. That's all that we really need for the Rockwell fight. Yep, there it is. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude, I think what we might end up doing is... I have to put this guy into a soul trap. I want to get the elevator down here first. Oh, wait. Sure, we don't have the regular elevator. 
We need those. Oh, we need some of those drake feathers as well. I pick you up. Totally forgot. We changed it out with a deck one. Nice, man. Nice. And you're still awake. That is fantastic. So maybe he's not bugged. That makes me feel better because I did not want to have to find any more and get them all bred up and then do more mutations and stuff to get their health up. So let's go ahead and put this in here for safekeeping. We got four of those. We only need two. And we need a couple more of the feathers. I think it's only two of the feathers that we need. We'll leave those. Well, put those in there. Might as well hold on to that as well. It's very, very lightweight. Well, man, not too bad of a day. So we made it in and out. Nobody died. <laughs> it got kind of sketchy in there a little bit. And then we got our Reaper Pheromone Glands. I think there's only two of them that we need. I'll have to see if we need them for the Alpha as well. No snakes, though. That's fine. Like I said, we'll do that. We'll probably do the regular artifact in the next one. And then we have the, the Glowtail Cave with the Basilisk trying to get the scales on the next one. And then we're kind of ready for Rockwell. I'll do the breeding probably off camera. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.